Today, we're bringing you 10 fast food items that we all miss and wish would come back. These meals had their moments in the spotlight, but sadly, they've vanished from menus over the years. Number one, McDonald's McLean Deluxe. The McDonald's McLean Deluxe, introduced in 1991, was one of the brand's boldest attempts at offering a healthier alternative to its traditional burgers. The concept behind the McLean Deluxe was to create a burger that appealed to the growing health-conscious consumer base of the early 90s. It was made with 91% lean beef, significantly lower in fat compared to McDonald's regular offerings. To reduce the fat content, McDonald's replaced much of the fat with carrageenan, an additive derived from red seaweed. This ingredient was used to bind water and maintain the burger's texture and juiciness. Despite McDonald's heavy marketing push, which included side-by-side -side comparisons with other menu items, the McLean Deluxe struggled to gain traction. Customers criticized the burger for its lack of flavor and its unusual rubbery texture. Fat contributes significantly to the taste and mouthfeel of a burger, and without it, the McLean Deluxe didn't deliver the same satisfying experience. Additionally, the use of carrageenan sparked skepticism, as it was a relatively unknown ingredient at the time. The public's unfamiliarity with this additive, combined with the perception that it was overly processed, contributed to the burger's failure. McDonald's had positioned the McLean Deluxe as part of their larger Deluxe line, targeting adults seeking healthier options. However, it failed to resonate with both health-conscious customers, who were still wary of fast food, and regular McDonald's patrons, who preferred the flavor of more traditional, high-fat burgers. By 1996, the McLean Deluxe was discontinued, having contributed only a small fraction to overall sales during its short tenure. Despite its failure, the McLean Deluxe remains a notable experiment in McDonald's history, reflecting the company's early attempts to adapt to shifting consumer demands in the fast food industry. Number 2. Taco Bell's BLT Taco Taco Bell's BLT Taco was introduced in 1995 as part of their Sizzlin' Bacon menu, which featured a variety of bacon-filled items. The BLT Taco combined the classic ingredients of a BLT sandwich, crispy bacon, fresh lettuce, and juicy tomatoes, with a Taco Bell twist by serving it inside a soft flour tortilla. The taco also included cheddar cheese and a special club sauce, giving it a unique flavor blend that distinguished it from traditional Mexican-inspired menu items. Priced at an affordable 99 cents, it was an accessible and popular choice during its limited run. Despite its appeal, the BLT taco was a short-lived experiment. It was discontinued after the promotion ended, likely because Taco Bell's core customer base preferred more familiar offerings like tacos and burritos. However, for a brief period, the BLT Taco stood out for its American sandwich flavors packaged in a Taco Bell format. Fans fondly remember it as a unique fast food mashup, blending bacon's smoky richness with the freshness of lettuce and tomato in a soft taco shell. Number 3. KFC's Double Down KFC's Double Down was first introduced in 2010 as a radical reimagining of the traditional sandwich. Instead of using bread, it used two fried chicken fillets as the buns, with bacon, cheese, and sauce sandwiched between. The concept was designed to appeal to those looking for an over-the-top, protein-packed indulgence. Its release generated a massive buzz, partly due to its unconventional design and the sheer amount of meat involved, leading to both intrigue and controversy. The Double Down was originally launched as a limited-time offer, but its initial popularity extended its availability longer than anticipated. In the first month alone, KFC sold over 10 million units in the U.S., making it a short-term sensation. However, the sandwich was heavily criticized for its nutritional content. It packed nearly 1,400 milligrams of sodium and upwards of 540 calories in its fried version which raised health concerns for many consumers and critics alike. Despite its viral fame, sales eventually declined, and by 2014 it was removed from most menus globally. It has since made sporadic comebacks in select markets, including in the U.S. in 2023 for a brief period. Today the Double Down is remembered as a stunt food, notorious for pushing the boundaries of fast food excess. Number 4. Wendy's Big Classic 
Wendy's Big Classic was introduced in 1986 as a direct competitor to the Burger King Whopper and McDonald's McDLT. The Big Classic was designed to appeal to those seeking a more substantial, heartier burger, featuring a 1.4 pound beef patty topped with lettuce, tomatoes, onions, pickles, ketchup, and mayonnaise, all served on a Kaiser-style roll. Unlike some of Wendy's other burgers, it offered a distinct flavor profile with its signature spiral top bun, which gave the burger a more premium feel compared to standard fast food options. Marketed to the 18, 36 age demographic, the Big Classic underwent extensive market research before its release, including thousands of taste tests across multiple cities. It was launched with the aim of differentiating Wendy's offerings in a crowded fast food landscape. Over time, the Big Classic gained a loyal fan base, but it was eventually replaced by the Baconator in 2007. While the Big Classic was briefly revived as the Big Bacon Classic, it never permanently returned, leaving many fans nostalgic for its unique combination of flavors. Number 5. Subway's Pizza Sub Subway's Pizza Sub, introduced in the 1990s, was designed to offer the flavors of a pizza in a sub sandwich. The original pizza sub featured pepperoni, marinara sauce, and melted cheese, all served on a freshly baked Subway roll. Customers could add vegetables like onions, peppers, and olives to customize the sub further, enhancing its pizza-like experience. The sub was typically toasted to give it the crisp texture of a baked pizza, appealing to those who wanted a quick and portable version of their favorite pizza flavors. Despite its initial popularity, the pizza sub was eventually discontinued from the regular menu in 2012. However, it became a part of Subway's secret menu, meaning customers could still request it at many locations, as Subway retained all the core ingredients needed to make it. The sub's enduring popularity is due to its nostalgic value, and many longtime fans still ask for it even though it no longer officially appears on the menu. Number 6. Burger King's King Supreme Burger King's King Supreme was introduced in the early 2000s as a response to the popularity of McDonald's Big Mac and other larger premium burgers. It was originally part of Burger King's effort to expand its menu with heartier, more substantial burgers, targeted at adult customers. The King Supreme featured two flame-grilled beef patties, topped with lettuce, tomato, onions, mayonnaise, and ketchup, all served on a sesame seed bun. It was designed to compete directly with McDonald's premium offerings, providing a more upscale alternative to Burger King's standard Whopper. Despite being well-received at first, the King Supreme was short-lived. The introduction of the new BK Stacker line in 2002, which focused on high-calorie, indulgent sandwiches, ultimately led to the phasing out of the King Supreme. The Stacker series' popularity shifted customer focus, and Burger King decided to discontinue the King Supreme, making room for new product lines. Although the King Supreme had a relatively brief run, it remains a nostalgic favorite for many Burger King fans. Number 7. Taco Bell's Enchirito The Taco Bell Enchirito, introduced in the 1970s, became a fan-favorite hybrid between an enchilada and a burrito. It consisted of a soft flour tortilla filled with seasoned ground beef, refried beans and diced onions, then smothered in red sauce and melted cheddar cheese. Originally, it was served in oven-safe packaging, allowing customers to reheat it at home, which was a unique feature at the time. A notable touch was the garnish of black olives, adding a distinctive flavor to the dish. The Enchirito was first discontinued in 1993 but made a popular comeback in 2000, though with some changes, most notably the replacement of its corn tortilla with a flour one and the removal of the iconic olive garnish. Despite its dedicated fan base, Taco Bell discontinued the Enchirito again in 2013 as it was replaced by newer items like the smothered burrito. However, due to customer demand, it has reappeared occasionally as a limited-time offer, with the most recent return in late 2022. Number 8. McDonald's McHot Dog The McDonald's McHot Dog was introduced in 1995 as an attempt to diversify the menu beyond burgers and fries. It was initially sold in select U.S. locations, including the Midwest and certain sporting venues like Toronto's Sky Dome. However, the McHot Dog faced challenges from the start. 
McDonald's founder Ray Kroc had previously opposed the idea of serving hot dogs, expressing concerns about the quality and contents of hot dog meat, which he felt didn't align with McDonald's brand standards. Despite Kroc's reservations, McDonald's leadership pursued the idea in the 90s to capitalize on the popularity of hot dogs at events like baseball games. The product featured a basic hot dog in a bun with typical condiments like mustard and ketchup. However, the McHot Dog failed to resonate with consumers, who associated McDonald's more with its signature burgers. By the late 1990s, the McHot Dog was phased out from most U.S. locations. However, it continued to pop up in international markets, such as Japan and Chile, where it enjoyed more success, though it remained a niche offering. The McHot Dog never became a permanent menu item in the U.S., and it is considered one of McDonald's most notable product flops. Number 9. Arby's Loaded Italian Sandwich Arby's Loaded Italian Sandwich was a hearty creation introduced in 2015, designed to compete with other popular Italian-style sandwiches on the market. This sandwich combined three meats, ham, salami, and pepperoni, with melted cheese, banana peppers, shredded lettuce, tomato, and red onion, all packed into a toasted Italian-style roll. To enhance the flavor, it was topped with a tangy red wine vinaigrette and garlic aioli, creating a bold and zesty profile that set it apart from Arby's more traditional roast beef offerings. Despite its popularity, the loaded Italian sandwich was discontinued in 2021 during a menu overhaul, largely because many of its specific ingredients like salami and garlic aioli were not widely used in other menu items. This made it logistically challenging for Arby's to continue offering the sandwich economically. Its removal disappointed many fans, and some have even petitioned for its return. While it may no longer be available, the loaded Italian remains a beloved memory for those who enjoyed its rich, flavorful combination of meats and fresh toppings. Number 10. Chick-fil-A's Spicy Chicken Biscuit Chick-fil-A's Spicy Chicken Biscuit was a breakfast favorite, introduced as part of the chain's morning offerings. It featured a boneless chicken breast seasoned with a blend of spicy peppers, pressure cooked in peanut oil, and served on a freshly baked buttermilk biscuit. This combination created a unique balance between the fluffy, buttery biscuit and the heat from the chicken, making it a popular choice for those wanting a bolder breakfast option. The spicy chicken biscuit was discontinued in 2016 to make room for new breakfast items like the egg white grill and frosted coffee, much to the dismay of its loyal fan base. However, despite being removed from most locations, the item continued to be available in select cities, and fans eagerly sought its return. In 2023, Chick-fil-A finally responded to the demand, bringing back the spicy chicken biscuit permanently to all U.S. locations. Its return marked a triumphant comeback, once again giving customers a spicy twist to start their mornings.